Okay, so we're lucky enough to be joined by Emir Evans, current world ranking, correct me if I'm wrong, about 115? Spot on. Yeah, Spot pretty on, good. Yeah. From what I can see, you're really starting to hit quite a bit of form. Yeah. Um, I think, was it February, you had two kind of semi-final events? Yeah, yeah? yeah is that, that right? Was, yeah, I had uh, one in Calgary, Canada, and one in Atlanta in the States. Yeah, oh, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Back to back semi finals, so yeah, that was it. Uh, yeah. To, yeah, I kind of had like one or two results against higher than my ranking, but I happened to have a few in both tournaments and was quite consistent. Yeah. So yeah, it was a good two weeks. Anything in particular that's working well for you at the moment? I think just like consistent hard work. Yeah. Literally, I know everyone says it, but there's no like, no secret, yeah. just keep plugging away and plugging away yeah. and then sometimes and, it'll just... And, and hey, you're, you're young, you're of good, yeah. you're of good sporting stock, right? So yeah. you know you've got time on your side and yeah. it's going to work out for you. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of helps to have, you know, such good players in a family, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm so fortunate, like, my dad is my coach as, as well as Dave, but like having that, like, just at home talking about yeah. squash, being around a squash court when you grow up. Yeah. Obviously my sister who's helped yeah. me out a lot as well. So. Spot on. Yeah. So I mean, a little bit about what we're doing here today, because you guys are doing something awesome. Yeah. I believe you're working with the schools yeah. uh, to, get, to get youngsters involved in squash. What's that all about? Yeah, so basically it's called like uh, the gold mine. So it's like throughout Wales, they're doing it in North, just schools coming into clubs, wherever it's closest with one of the coaches and just literally like coaching them, playing squash, getting them introduced because that's where a lot of numbers come from. You want to get them from schools. And I, gu I guess historically you would, you'd rely on PE teachers to take the kids yeah, to, to a local so, club. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's got to be influenced by them as well. Like they, yeah. they need to push it but um, I mean all the PE teachers seem like pretty like buzzy about it, they want kids to do it, and, yeah. um, like today seeing all them, it's really yeah. good to see. It's so nice to see them having so much fun, Yeah, you know, um, so I'm looking around and I'm thinking I'm more excited than the kids because yeah. like, you know, I, just... I want to get autographs yeah. and stuff, but they're having a lot of fun on court with you guys. There's one yeah. kid in particular, wasn't there? Yeah. He was um, <laughs> hitting some I mean, pretty I good got, length. Yeah, I've got a match later and he was just <laughs> making me do so much work, front and back, front and back. Yeah, you would take him to one side, Emma, and know. say, "Listen, come on, Look, yeah. on Matt, take yeah. it easy, son." But no, yeah. it was good. Yeah, it was, it was good to see all the parents enjoying themselves as well. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, and especially like a night like this, I think that's why one of the reasons yeah. it's helped the Welsh Wizards because it's bringing all these kids yeah. in, seeing all these like like Marwan and yeah. sister. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, listen, Emma, good luck, good luck with the rest of your Thank career. You, you yeah. don't need it. I know you're going to smash it, and good Thank luck you. tonight. Cheers. Thanks, Thank mate. You.